Welcome to The Healthy Pantry, your go-to resource for all things related to nutrition, wellness, and mindful eating. Today, we're diving into an intriguing topic that touches on the very essence of human experience, the distinction between pleasure and happiness. You see, in our quest for fulfillment, we often seek out experiences that please us, whether it's indulging in our favorite comfort foods or enjoying a relaxing day at the spa. But what if I told you that pleasure and happiness are not one and the same? That's right. Today we're exploring the fascinating differences between two neurotransmitters that play a crucial role in shaping our emotional landscape, serotonin and dopamine. Join us as we uncover the seven key distinctions between serotonin and dopamine and how understanding their roles can empower us to cultivate lasting happiness and well-being in our lives. So grab a healthy snack, sit back, and let's embark on this enlightening journey together. First off, let's delve deeper into the neurotransmitter function of serotonin and dopamine. Serotonin, also known as 5-hydroxytryptamine, 5-HT, is primarily synthesized in the brainstem's raphe nuclei and is involved in various physiological processes throughout the central nervous system. Its functions include regulating mood, emotions, appetite, sleep, memory, and social behavior. Serotonin is particularly associated with mood regulation. It helps to stabilize mood by modulating emotional responses to stressors and promoting feelings of contentment and well-being. Low levels of serotonin have been linked to mood disorders such as depression and anxiety. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, which increase serotonin levels in the brain, are commonly prescribed for treating these conditions. Additionally, serotonin plays a role in regulating appetite and digestion, as well as influencing sexual function and aggression. Now let's have a look at dopamine function. Dopamine is synthesized primarily in the substantia nigra and ventral tegmental area of the midbrain. It serves as a neurotransmitter in various regions of the brain, including the mesolimbic and mesocortical pathways. One of dopamine's primary functions is its involvement in the brain's reward system. It plays a crucial role in motivation, reinforcement, and the experience of pleasure. Dopamine is released in response to rewarding stimuli such as food, sex, social interactions, and drugs of abuse. This release reinforces behaviors associated with seeking rewards and reinforces learning and habit formation. Beyond its role in reward processing, dopamine is also involved in motor control, cognition, and attention. Dysfunction of dopamine signaling is implicated in movement disorders like Parkinson's disease and psychiatric conditions such as schizophrenia and addiction. The balance of dopamine levels in different brain regions is crucial for maintaining normal behavior and cognitive function. Too much or too little dopamine activity can lead to various neurological and psychiatric disorders. In summary, serotonin and dopamine serve distinct but interconnected functions in the brain. While serotonin primarily regulates mood and emotional states, dopamine plays a central role in motivation, reward processing, and reinforcement learning. Understanding the nuanced roles of these neurotransmitters provides insights into the complex mechanisms underlying behavior, cognition, and mental health. Now let's find out the role of serotonin and dopamine in emotional regulation. Serotonin is crucial for maintaining emotional balance and stability. It acts as a neurotransmitter that helps regulate mood, anxiety, and stress responses. One of serotonin's primary functions is inhibiting excessive responses to emotional stimuli. It modulates the activity of other neurotransmitter systems, such as dopamine and norepinephrine, which are involved in arousal and emotional reactivity. Serotonin is particularly associated with feelings of well-being, contentment, and calmness. Adequate serotonin levels promote emotional resilience and the ability to cope with stressors effectively. Dysregulation of serotonin signaling has been implicated in mood disorders such as depression and anxiety. Low levels of serotonin are often associated with increased susceptibility to negative emotions and impaired stress coping mechanisms. While dopamine is primarily known for its role in reward processing and motivation, it also influences emotional regulation, albeit in a different manner than serotonin. Dopamine plays a key role in the brain's reward system where it reinforces behaviors associated with pleasurable experiences. This includes not only external rewards such as food and social interactions, 
but also internal rewards such as achieving goals and experiencing success. Dopamine release is linked to the anticipation and pursuit of rewards, leading to feelings of excitement, anticipation, and satisfaction. It motivates individuals to engage in goal-directed behaviors and seek out rewarding experiences. However, dysregulation of dopamine signaling can lead to emotional dysregulation and mood disorders. Abnormalities in dopamine neurotransmission are implicated in conditions such as bipolar disorder, where individuals experience fluctuations between manic and depressive episodes. Additionally, excessive dopamine activity in certain brain regions has been associated with impulsivity, aggression, and addiction. Dysfunction in the dopamine system can contribute to difficulties in regulating emotions and behaviors. Next up, let's explore the roles of serotonin and dopamine in the reward system. Serotonin is not traditionally considered a primary neurotransmitter in the brain's reward circuitry. Instead, it modulates the activity of other neurotransmitters, including dopamine, in regions involved in reward processing. Serotonin influences the processing of rewards by regulating mood, motivation, and emotional responses. It helps to modulate the intensity of reward-related signals and contributes to the overall subjective experience of pleasure and satisfaction. While serotonin itself may not directly mediate the rewarding effects of stimuli, its activity can influence how individuals perceive and respond to rewarding experiences. For example, Adequate serotonin levels are associated with a greater sense of well-being and contentment, which can enhance the subjective value of rewards. Dysregulation of serotonin signaling can impact reward processing and contribute to mood disorders such as depression and anxiety. Individuals with low serotonin levels may have difficulty experiencing pleasure from rewarding activities, leading to anhedonia or reduced interest in normally enjoyable experiences. What about dopamine? Dopamine is central to the brain's reward system and plays a crucial role in motivating behavior, reinforcing learning, and mediating the experience of pleasure and satisfaction. Dopamine neurons originating in the ventral tegmental area VTA, of the midbrain project to various regions of the brain, including the nucleus accumbens, prefrontal cortex, and amygdala, forming the mesolimbic and mesocortical pathways. When individuals encounter rewarding stimuli, such as food, sex, or drugs, dopamine neurons in the VTA are activated, leading to the release of dopamine in target regions. This dopamine release signals the brain that the stimuli are pleasurable or rewarding, reinforcing behaviors that lead to their acquisition or consumption. The anticipation of rewards also triggers dopamine release, motivating individuals to seek out and engage in goal-directed behaviors. Dopamine facilitates the encoding of reward-related memories and associations promoting learning and adaptation. In summary, while serotonin influences the processing of rewards indirectly by modulating mood and emotional responses, dopamine plays a more direct and central role in the brain's reward system. Dopamine mediates the anticipation, consumption, and reinforcement of rewarding experiences, motivating goal-directed behaviors and facilitating learning and adaptation. Dysregulation of either serotonin or dopamine signaling can disrupt reward processing and contribute to various psychiatric disorders. If you find this video helpful and informative, please support the Healthy Pantry channel by leaving your comment below, liking this video, and subscribing for more daily health and nutrition tips. But wait, there is more. The physical effects associated with serotonin and dopamine. Serotonin influences various physiological processes throughout the body in addition to its roles in the brain. Serotonin plays a critical role in regulating gastrointestinal GI, function, including intestinal motility, secretion, and sensation. It helps coordinate smooth muscle contractions in the GI tract and contributes to the regulation of appetite and satiety. Did you know that serotonin is involved in appetite control and energy balance? It influences food intake by modulating feelings of hunger and fullness. Dysregulation of serotonin signaling has been linked to appetite disturbances, such as overeating or loss of appetite. It also contributes to the regulation of the sleep-wake cycle and plays a role in promoting sleep. It helps modulate the activity of brain regions involved in sleep, wakefulness, and REM, rapid eye movement, sleep. Serotonin has vasoconstrictive effects on blood vessels, helping regulate blood pressure and blood flow.
It also contributes to platelet aggregation and blood clotting, playing a role in hemostasis and wound healing. Dopamine, on the other hand, plays a crucial role in coordinating voluntary movements and motor control. It is particularly important for initiating and regulating movement through its actions in the basal ganglia. Dysfunction of the dopamine system is central to the pathophysiology of Parkinson's disease, a neurodegenerative disorder characterized by motor symptoms such as tremors, rigidity, and bradykinesia, slowness of movement. Degeneration of dopamine-producing neurons in the substantia nigra leads to dopamine deficiency in the basal ganglia, resulting in movement impairments. Dopamine released from the hypothalamus regulates the secretion of various hormones from the pituitary gland. For example, dopamine inhibits the release of prolactin, a hormone involved in lactation, from the anterior pituitary. Dopamine receptors in the chemoreceptor trigger zone of the brainstem are involved in the regulation of nausea and vomiting. Certain medications that block dopamine receptors, such as antiemetics, can alleviate nausea and vomiting. Now let's talk about the roles of serotonin and dopamine in social behavior. Serotonin is intricately involved in regulating various aspects of social behavior, including social interactions, affiliated behavior, aggression, and emotional empathy. Adequate serotonin levels are associated with prosocial behaviors such as cooperation, trust, and altruism. Serotonin enhances social bonding and facilitates positive interactions with others. Dysregulation of serotonin signaling has been implicated in social dysfunction and psychiatric conditions characterized by impaired social behavior. For example, low serotonin levels have been associated with social anxiety disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and mood disorders. Serotonin also plays a role in modulating aggression and impulsivity. Low serotonin activity has been linked to increased aggression and impulsive behaviors, while higher serotonin levels have been associated with inhibiting aggressive responses and promoting emotional regulation. Additionally, serotonin contributes to emotional empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Serotoninergic pathways are involved in processing emotional cues and facial expressions, facilitating social cognition and interpersonal communication. While dopamine is traditionally associated with reward processing and motivation, it also influences social behavior, albeit through different mechanisms than serotonin. Dopamine is involved in mediating the rewarding aspects of social interactions. Social stimuli, such as positive feedback, approval, or affiliation, can activate the brain's reward system and lead to dopamine release. Dopamine promotes approach behaviors and motivation to engage in social interactions by reinforcing the anticipation and pursuit of social rewards. The prospect of social connection or acceptance can trigger dopamine release and drive individuals to seek out social experiences. Dysregulation of dopamine signaling can impact social behavior and social cognition. For example, Abnormalities in dopamine neurotransmission have been implicated in social withdrawal, anhedonia, and deficits in social motivation observed in psychiatric conditions such as schizophrenia. And lastly, the roles of serotonin and dopamine in long-term well-being. Serotonin is closely linked to overall emotional stability, resilience, and a sense of well-being over the long term. Adequate serotonin levels are associated with stable mood regulation, emotional resilience, and the ability to cope effectively with stressors. Serotonin plays a role in promoting feelings of contentment, satisfaction, and inner peace. It contributes to a sense of overall happiness and life satisfaction. Dysregulation of serotonin signaling has been implicated in mood disorders such as depression and anxiety, which can significantly impair long-term well-being. Dopamine's role in long-term well-being is primarily related to its involvement in motivation, goal pursuit, and the experience of reward and satisfaction. Dopamine promotes a sense of accomplishment, fulfillment, and pleasure associated with achieving goals and pursuing meaningful activities over the long term. Healthy dopamine functioning is essential for maintaining motivation, persistence, and resilience in the face of challenges and setbacks. Dysregulation of dopamine signaling can lead to motivational deficits, anhedonia, loss of pleasure, and apathy, which can impact long-term well-being and quality of life. And there you have it, folks. Serotonin and dopamine, the dynamic duo of pleasure and happiness. Remember, balance is key. Seek joy in the moment, 
but nurture lasting happiness with healthy habits. See you tomorrow in the next video. Thank you for joining us here at the Healthy Pantry. We hope you found the information valuable and inspiring. Remember your health is a journey, and we are here to guide you every step of the way. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.